1950s woman who won't be getting her pension until age 65 and 10 months. It was at age 58 that Linda initially found out about the change when her partner was reading a saga magazine. My poor partner said, oh my goodness me, our plans are gone. We were both going, he's retiring, I would have my pension, and that had all changed. So I'm in a position now that he's I'm having to, uh, to keep me. I, I, I gave up my job because I was unwell, um, and I did think at that, I knew then that my pension would be at 63, at that point when I gave up my job, I didn't realise that I would have to actually go on another two years and ten months beyond that. So it has affected um, our lives and it's affected the fact that he's had to, had to support me. And it's unfair on him and hard on him. I'm one of the fortunate ladies of Waspies. I still do have a job and I do still have good health, which is very good for me, but... I do only work part-time and the pension that we thought we were going to have at 60 would be such a wonderful thing to have. We've paid our national insurance. We always thought that 60 we were going to have our pensions like our mothers and our grandmothers. And when at 59 I realised we weren't going to have our pension. Okay, we'll wait three years. You know, we can still work. That's fine. But we still felt bad about it because it wasn't just that we weren't going to get our pensions. We weren't going to get our free passes. We weren't going to get our concessions for gyms and things like that. You know, there was lots of things that we weren't going to get the concessions for anymore. And we would have to work. And then, myself, I don't have my pension until I'm 66. That's a lot of extra time to work. And a lot of people... A lot of women from the 50s can't work anymore. A spokesman for the Department for Work and Pension said, the decision to equalise and increase the state pension age is both fair and sustainable for future generations and in line with continuing rises in life expectancy. Women retiring today can still expect to receive the state pension for over 24.5 years on average, which is more than any generation before them and several years longer than men. Waspy? Women Against State Pension Inequality are a group campaigning to achieve fair transitional state pension arrangements. That's for all women born in the 1950s affected by changes to the state pension law. It's not about gaining equality with men, but notification and a fair transition. Linda is the coordinator for the Salisbury Waspy. We've got 101 members um, of, of Salisbury Waspy. We have uh, quite a few of these ladies that are very active within the group, but we have quite a lot of ladies are interested in um, what is actually happening to us. WASPI are helping any adversely impacted 1950s ladies to take action and complain in the correct way for the Department for Work and Pensions, the DWP. It's particularly for women who didn't get a letter notifying them their state pension age was no longer going to be 60. If you go on to waspi.co.uk, into action, you'll see that there are template letters that need to be sent out to complain for maladministration to the DWP and ICE. And this is the process that we have to go through um, because we're actually going through the maladministration complaint. And that's so you will see that they can be downloaded and then you edit them to suit yourself. Um, but if anyone has any problems, I'm quite happy to help them with that via email. If they contact me, salisburywaspy at gmail.com, I can then forward on these templates to them and then they can then edit them for themselves then. Salisbury Waspy are offering help both for ladies with computer access and also those without where they can sit down and help them. It's to ensure that no 1950s ladies miss out on their chance to be heard and helped if it's at all possible. There may be a possibility that unless we go through that process, then we may not be in a position to be compensated should that happen. So those ladies do need to go through that process. And it is not too difficult to do. And there is help out there should one need it. Jan Robbins, That's TV.